That makes sense. Trying to trying to get the Bayonetta down to a science. Level it up right now, up against Chucky, one of DFW's uh, more mid range to higher range players. Not one of our top players, but definitely has been on the come up for a long little while now. And you know, we'll see what he can do against this Bayonetta onslaught. Okay, getting aggressive with the fair back on stage so that Abadonga just doesn't keep pushing him out. You know, that is that's his biggest uh, weakness is that recovery. So finding ways to mix it up and make it back on is important. Yeah, absolutely. So one thing I've already noticed about Abadonga that switched up from Mistake and oh my goodness, he's gonna be cut off the top. Okay, no. But I have noticed he's been throwing out the bullets a lot more than Mistake was last game. I mean, that's just first 30 seconds get some damage on, but okay, not not gonna be able to take him off the top. I'm not going to get that second side beat to the left. And Chucky wasn't able to get back down in time to punish the lag either, though, so Abadongo kept the juggle going. Ab Abadongo missed that grab and actually got punished with a grab by Chucky instead. That's crazy. Abba's been going for a lot of these guns, um, just like charging them and stopping because it forces Chucky to go at him. One of his only options to deal with that is like dash attack. Uh, so then Abba will immediately act out of it and punish the dash attack. Yeah. Speaking of punishes, he's been trying to punish this landing that Chucky keeps doing to get back to the ledge with the uh, up B so he can drift over to the ledge. He's already been punishing him a little bit, and right now Chucky's going to keep getting punished. Okay, nice nair to catch, not deal with any cross up right there. It was a bit ambiguous what side Abba would land on. That shield was looking very small for Chucky. Should be a little bit higher up now, but not looking like he's going to be able to use in the air here. Right, I'm a little bit more worried about his okay. percent. Yeah, 43% already. Oh, he goes oh, for the spike. He doesn't no. have a jump. He didn't touch the stage. Gonna get witch time. I don't think oh, he wanted to go for that downer. No. I think he ran off uh, or got, got hit off in a way that he didn't expect. Maybe he was trying to go for a down smash. Mm -hmm. I, I could see it down smash. I could also see that maybe he thought he touched the stage because he came very close to right. the stage to where he's like, I have a jump anyways. Mm -hmm. May as well throw it out. Unfortunately, did not touch the stage in time and uh, fell victim to that one. We're gonna see the Mewtwo. Okay, interesting. So, Abadongo, like game the one, classic. Up. Right, game one going for the yeah. Bayo, and then game two, do what he wants. Mm -hmm. Looks yeah. like this, last time he swapped to Meta Knight, this time swapping to Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. His real character he's been playing for a long time, got him to the top uh, percentile of the PGR, of the players in the world. Let's see how Chucky can handle it. Right now he's in a bit of a lead, actually. Mm -hmm. Wow, caught him oh. there. Caught double air dodge, wow. but that down was able to... That's wow. going to do it! Chucky's Chucky. in a very good lead. Doing real good right now. Only 18% on him. Abadongo catching him with the neutral air, though. Looking for more. Okay. Right now, Abadongo's playing as though he hasn't even lost that stock. Still going in. Very aggressive. Very smart, though, at the same time. Using that top player privilege and the knowledge to try to bring it back against Chucky. Yeah. Great job. He shielded and he recognizes that Chucky was way too high to drift safely. So we got that fair set up for the edge guard. Mm -hmm. Now only 4% on Abadongo to answer. Uh, he's going to be able to do that relatively quickly. Mewtwo builds, builds up percent incredibly easily, and there we go. I love this. When <laughs> Abba misses that down tilt, uh, instead of just keep going, for, he'll see, he's walked back and spaced himself a little more to see if he could catch Chucky running in, mm -hmm. and then go in for the more dial tilts. Was able to find one, set up for some damage. Yeah, not too much, but damage is damage in this game. Okay, not going to go for that second fair. Yet, at least, Chucky falls low. Abadongo missing that two from that down air that he was so hungry for. Goes for the down throw, waits for an air dodge. Chucky doesn't give it to him. He drifts to the ledge safely. Challenging the neutral air with that up air. Very interesting. Uh, Perfect oh, back shield? throw? Okay, oh. on Smashville with that rage, back throw almost killing Mewtwo. Yeah, that would have been, been crazy. Platform is really good. Chucky getting a little bit of an absorb. He got pushed off stage. Um, but he came out with a... Oh, goodness. He needs to stop falling with that. Abadongo's known that. Oh, gets the tech. Very, okay. very smart. That was really smart, but really risky by Abba. I think he intentionally went for the grab release, mm -hmm. so it would force Chucky off stage in a position where it was easy to get the edge guard on that recovery. Put Chucky in an uncomfortable position. He went for it. Um, they going to do it, though. He was confident in getting the tech afterwards as well. Didn't throw it all away. Ended up sealing it. Yeah. That, that was an interesting setup. I haven't seen enough players go for something like that with a little grab, grab release nest at the edge instead of just throwing them off. Yeah. Cause That's interesting. Because in that position, a lot. if he double jumps immediately, uh, he's going to go above the ledge. Mm -hmm. He has to wait a little bit if he wants to you know, slowly drift. And then he's putting himself in a position where he can go down anyway. 